What's up, Patriots? It's Nashi back at it again today. I am going to show you how to farm some red scripts so you can make some gill and unlock all the other gathering nodes. What's up again, Patriots? We're back. Here we are. I have something to show you that you need to know to unlock your gathering nodes uh, for the, uh, the all the what they call them for folklore books for your fishing, your mining, and your botany. Now, this is also a halfway decent way to make a pretty good gill in this game is by gathering red scripts and yellow scripts and exchanging them for certain items to unlock all of the Stormblood folklore nodes. What you'll need to do is talk to the Splendors vendor right here. Look at the Fieldcraft items and you have two from each gathering profession. You have two fishing ones, two botany ones, and two mining ones. Now obviously as you can see here that's a six, that's six total, obviously, and you need 50 Rowena tokens of regional folklore per one of these. Now, the reason they put in this vendor is because they changed around the script system a, a, a bit back and uh, basically made it way better, in my opinion. So, to get these folklore things to purchase the books, you need to go to Red Gatherer Scripts level 61 and click the other tab. Now you have them right here, and you can make sure that these are the correct ones, because there's another one with the same name, except they have a blue token, and it says blue crafting and stuff, but it, 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 can, be, it can be a little complicated sometimes by accident. So each of these that you need cost 50 as well. Let me show you on the calculator here. So you need 50 tokens and they each cost 50. So you need 2,500 red scripts per folklore unlock. So what you'll have to do, that's a lot of red, that's a lot of red scripts. Don't, don't get me wrong. That is a lot of red gathering scripts, but you can get to them pretty fast and pretty easy. It might take you a couple of hours, but this is the best way to do it. Now, basically, I use this website called FFXIV Clock, basically Final Fantasy XIV Clock.com. And let me show it to you right here. Now, I have it set up and I selected the scripts that you want to farm. Now, when you're level 70, this is the best and the most optimal way to do it. And what you want to do is there are two strategies, and in my opinion, this one is the best. You can do mining and botany and literally just do the top three for botany and the top three for mining. And as you can see here, you have raw azurite, raw star spindle, and raw trifane. Now, if we look back at these, let me take you to the uh, selector. So now this is, the, this is how you select all of the nodes. These are all the nodes in the game. You can select binding, you just select all because you know what you're looking for. For the botany sections, you use the bamboo shoot, and each of these nodes spawn for two hours in-game uh, twice a day. So in the AM and the PM hours. So we got bamboo shoot, beach branch, and then the lotus root. And those are the three that you'll farm for botany. And then the other three are all uh, raw azurite, raw star spindle, raw trifang. Now, once you select all these, as you can see, you just click on them to select them and deselect them. Uh, you can organize them. I like to do it the line because I like to see what's at the top and it'll show you and basically every five minutes real time the new thing will spawn. So the next one that'll spawn is the raw star spinel. As you can see we'll go to the ruby sea. Now my uh, return is in the ruby sea so I kind of got lucky. Now this one is the ruby sea. Now as you can see in eight seconds real time this is going to update and it's gonna make a sound. And you can change the sound and stuff, but I like using this sound. This will tell you that it's ready. So if you want to do this while you're doing something else, uh, not playing the game, where we want to go is it'll tell us exactly where to go. The raw star spindle, which is 15.5. So 15.5 is right on over here. It's in this little, uh, this little cove right here. So let's go ahead and equip our mining. We have to use Truth of the Mountain. And we fly on over here. Now I have the best gear. 
uh, basically almost fully melded. You want to make sure you turn on your collector's glove. Make sure you have Truth of the Mountain, and when you click on it. Now this website shows you something else right here. As you can see, it has this little 8 in parentheses. This, this part right here after the time means what slot it is on the thing. So what you have to do is you have to at least mine these at least once to get them all done. If you haven't mined any of these, the first rotation that you'll do is you'll you'll go to each mine, you'll use the, the toil move. The toil of the mountaineer is for the uh, mining one. So if you used this move, it would unlock all of these out of reach, show you which one it is. Uh, it could be number eight. So that's what we're gonna hit. Bing. So we have a high chance of doing this, but you could use all HQ surge gathering gear for this. All the 290 uh, HQ gathering gear, well, you can farm these just as good, basically. And so you would hit it. Now, as far as the rotation, what you always want to use is you want to use a combination of utmost caution and single mind. Okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to almost always use uh, a single mind, but you want to use one utmost caution because you'll have kind of crappy gear. So what you want to do is the very first one you use is utmost caution, single mind, methodical appraisal. And this will give you a certain amount here. Now, uh, what you want to do is use single mind, methodical appraisal. And then basically just the methodical appraisal, the other two spots. And what you have here is you're over 460. Now you need to only be over 450, but this, this rotation guarantees maximum yield, basically. This is what you want to do if you're just using surge gear. And so basically now we're at 460, so we can hit this up. Collect. Yes. Collect. Yep. Collect again. And one last one. Right after you use this, uh, if you're doing it quickly, like if you're way ahead of yourself, you probably won't have to use cordials. But I would advise using cordials every single time because they're they're super cheap, easy to get with uh, grand company seals. They're 500 grand company seals each. So if you if you're level 70 doing a couple dungeons a week and making sure you roll greed on everything, turning in gear, one item from the level 70 expert roulette uh, and even the level 70 dungeon roulette. Uh, one item can get you three cordials. So we'll go to the next spot, which is going to end up being the fringes. And we're going to get raw triphane. And so basically what you'll do is you'll go to each of these spots, all six of them, twice per real-time hour. So you'll go during the AM and the PM rotations. Now the raw triphane will be over here. It'll be right over here by the schism. And so we're going to fly on over there. And I will show you the rotation and a wonderful website that you can use as well. There we go. We got the notification. And as you can see right here, the unspoiled mineral deposit opened up. So now we're going to go to the next spot, which is going to be our Azim Step, the Dawn Throne. The next spot will be at 527 which is down here, south of our wonderful location. All right, as you can see here, every, I just wanted to make sure, every node comes up every two hours, and every two hours uh, in the game comes up to be five real-time minutes. Now, here's the unspoiled mineral node, and according to our uh, clock, it is number seven, so slot number seven, bing, bang, boom. Raw Azerite. So we got three. Three is generally the least amount you'll get. Uh, so here we go. We'll head to the next one. And the next one just happens to be some botany. We'll use a cordial. And we'll go ahead and go back to the fringes. Uh, because the next one is going to be the beach branch. Now the beach branch shows up, it says, at 10.15. Which is around down here, as you can see about 10 15 it's right south of this section 
and he usually pops up on this side or the other side of the river and it'll show up any second now I can make Eorzee in time go faster like this and we're here I just made time go faster not really obviously so at this one you you might want to stealth just in case this bear aggro's you here we are the beach branch don't forget to put on the truth of the forest just like truth of the mountain so you can actually see the node and then make sure you have your collector's glove on now obviously if you fully meld super end game gear you can get over 800 gp which would make you be able to either even gather more of these but you'll probably be gathering yellow stuff by that time. So we're gonna gather all these and we're gonna move on to the next one. So we're right here, uh, where you wanna go for this one is the Lotus Root next. And you wanna go to the House of the Fierce cause it's at the top end. Cause the next one you'll wanna go to is the Bamboo Shoot and it's down here. But you wanna go to House of the Fierce first, hit this up, this one is number seven as well. Now the Lotus Root today is starred, which means that you get a bonus to turning it in and when you do uh, if you decide to go farming when you look uh, you can press control U and this timer thing will pop up you can check your so what you're farming as you can see here it's got a little star next to it and uh, you know if any of these have stars they give you bonus turn in so the next place we'll go is the Nami which is the southern part and as you can see it's nighttime now one full rotation of this hitting each of the spots which will be six spots will take five minutes for each spot to spawn so it takes half an hour uh, in real time for a full 12 hours in game now the bamboo spot will be right around here and we'll just wait for it to spawn and this will be the last spawn and then we'll uh, we'll go to turn in and I'll show you what kind of turn ins you can expect on average per half an hour Okay, we're on our last one here, the bamboo branch. So we'll land and acquire. It's on number eight for this one. And then we will go back to Ralgar's Reach, and I will see you there. Okay, we're back here in Ralgar's Reach, and let me show you how to turn these in, and then things you can buy that will make you gill. So you wanna turn these in at the collectible appraiser, and you just click on it. When you have a button load, you can move this down a little bit so you can just move the mouse as little as possible. That quick rotation, we got about 850 uh, scripts with one of them being a bonus. Um, so then you wanna click on the, uh, the script exchange person. Now, if you're just going for Gil or you need something for yourself, uh, in, in the 50 uh, the, the gathering scripts, this is where you get high cordials for yourself. Um, as you can see, we just did that one rotation, which took me a half an hour, gives me 43 high cordials. This is super good. I mean, that is that is crazy amount of efficiency right there. However, there are gatherer five materials you can turn in. You can also purchase uh, these things, which are red script fishing tackle for old fish. Now, some of these you need for quests, uh, for fishing quests and certain other uh, items that you need to acquire through fishing. So getting some of these and selling them in small amounts is also a really good idea. Again, you can go in the other slot, which is the 61 here. These are more important lures. These bream lures, you definitely need one of these for catching a quest fish. And what you can do with these is since they only cost 50, I'll go ahead and get five. And these uh, sell just like these suspending minnows. A couple of these will sell as well. And obviously most importantly is your uh, folklore books. Those are things you can get with the Red Gatherer scripts. And these things can make you gill for doing things on the side. You can do this optimally uh, I actually do this, usually I farm scripts while I'm editing videos because it only requires about a minute of my attention every five minutes. Put up for sale, let's compare prices, look at this. Now you only need one lure for a lot of stuff and look at this, people are buying, look at this, holy moly. You had four, seven, ten, fourteen just bought today. So we'll put up two at a time always and we'll go for 
we'll go for 9,500. So there you go. And you know what? I'm going to put up these for 9,500 as well. We'll put up three. And it's like, boom, there we go. We just made uh, 50,000 gil in uh, easy red scripts and we only spent 250 red scripts. You know, that's pretty efficient. Um, I will show you in the next video how to do the optimal yellow scripts because you need all of the red scripts here to be able to unlo unlock all the folklore spots to be able to farm yellow scripts efficiently. Don't farm yellow scripts until you unlocked all the spots for mining and botany, at least by minimum, because it's useless to farm yellow scripts and very inefficient unless you have all the spots unlocked and, uh, you know, some halfway decent gear. The site for the Final Fantasy Clock is down below. It's also a companion app on your phone, so you can actually download it on your phone and it makes it even easier if you only have one monitor. So it'll tell you what slot to hit for each node, tell you where it is in the area. Don't forget to have your Truth of the Mountain and Truth of the Forest on, and don't forget your collector's glove. And I'll have the rotations linked down below. Remember, you can do this with all 290 high quality gear. We'll be back again with Yellow Scripts video next. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. If this helped you, please like, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to grow my channel uh, and make Final Fantasy XIV a great again. Don't forget to comment down below on any farms or any questions you have on almost anything in this game. I will make a video of it just for you. And we will be back next time. Thanks so much, patrons. You have a good one. Peace.